So this is last night's little stop, Dunwich Beach. A few other campers around as well. And today is the day Daz has got to go back to work, so his uh, little holiday adventure with us is over and done with. But if you are ever down this way, it is a donation parking, so make sure you do donate. But please note as well that the car park can flood, <laughs> so keep an eye on the tide. Say bye to Daz. Uh. Got to go back to work because he's a worker. Bye. See you soon, mate. Yeah. Have a nice time at work. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Thanks. You're so generous, oh, so yeah. kind. Yeah. I'll be thinking about you when I can have my sleep-ins. <laughs> nah, I still have to go to work. It's just my work's in the van most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Don't have to go anywhere, really. No. I have to, I have to travel. <sighs> Back to urban areas. Yeah. No more kite flying. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll let you know how the kite flying goes, though. Yeah. Man. Yes, darling? Have you not got any different jumpers to wear? No, I haven't. <laughs> I, got, I need to go and buy some more jumpers. Yeah, you need to go to the uh, the jumper shop, I think, don't the you? The jumper shop. Yeah, because somebody says, buy Mandy more jumpers. I mean, I like jumpers. I've got about 17 jumpers, but I'm just lazy and I just grab the first one off the top, so... And, you know, that's a cool jumper. I like this jumper. It's yeah. and snuggly. Oh. Yeah. See, it's like Daz. He's always wearing Slazenger, apart from now. Yeah. Well, no. Oh. oh, there we go. There Still go. Slazenger. And... And then there's me, and, and I'm always wearing Under Armour. And do you want to know a secret? We're not sponsored. Do you want to know a secret? My well, pants are slazenger. <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> my pants are Under Armour. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not even sponsored by no. either of them. If anybody from Under Armour is watching and you want to sponsor us, get in touch. Oh, slazenger! <laughs> See you, mate. Thanks, Daz. Nice little spot. I think this is going to do for our park up for the next day. Nice views. While well, I do a bit of work, making some videos for you lovely people. Oh, look at the boat. I know how pretty. It's very pretty. Although you can see from the clouds, it's spitted a little bit. Yes. I don't mind, it's been worth it for the beautiful views. I, yeah. I can't believe we've never been here. Mainly because I think it's a long way to get here. It's, it's out the way, isn't it? But it really is. It's very nice. Um, did you order this weather again? No. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, the view's the sea, nice. The sea looks it like works. it's got a dead leg. Such a good sunset. I have to get the camera out. Absolutely brilliant. Loving it here. Really peaceful, really nice. Little crabs on the beach. <laughs> do you want to go crab fishing then? Oh, it's I do. There. See it's in there, in there. What a morning view, eh, babe? Oh, no. I know when we've been in France and Spain and that we've had nice views, but I have to say that is a lovely view to wake up in the morning. Well, you know, out the window. <laughs> Go on, see the line. Fucking off my line. <laughs> it's 
pretty cool, isn't it? It really is. It really is. <laughs> we got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. So I just wanted to include this because this is a payback stay. This is the Hobnails Inn uh, just outside of Tewkesbury and they uh, allowed us to stay before. So we've come back, we've had a nice meal in the pub and they've uh, allowed us to stay over again in the pub car park. So thanks very much to the Hobnails Inn. Wonderful food, wonderful people. Because <laughs> they serve us booze. In the to van, the van in the car we park. are so close to the beer garden yeah. that they were just like, just leave the leave the pint glasses on the table when you're done. They're just great, aren't they? No, it's absolutely brilliant. The Hobnails Inn in Tewkesbury. Is it Tewkesbury? Yeah, just, just outside of Tewkesbury. Yeah, just outside isn't of yeah. Tewkesbury. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And they are all so happy to be back open again. Dog friendly as well. Oh, very dog so friendly. Bring your dog, bring your motor home. Have a couple of pints. And we had some lovely food as well. Obviously, oh, yes. I had gammon. And that I had duck. Yeah. So, uh, no, it was lovely. The only thing that might be a problem to people is that they shut the gates on the car park at midnight and open yeah. them again at 8 o'clock in the morning. So those little gates there closed overnight, but that's I mean, fine by 8 o'clock in the morning is more than fine. It's yeah. Sunday after all, so... Um, lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's wonderful. I was just talking to the waitress there mm. and um, she said um, that they were so happy to be open. Yeah. And I was saying, if it wasn't for them being open, it would be so much harder for us to get to see my dad. Yeah. Um, because it's somewhere that they're, the, the socially distance that they've done in there is perfect, yeah, isn't the it? Yeah, the layouts and all at the tables. Yeah. Yeah. Every, everybody is, is because it's all little nooks and crannies. Yeah. So you, you've got a nook to yourself now, yeah. which was um, which was brilliant. And, and it's was, really oldie worldy. Mm. Where even Mandy has to duck, duck under the beams. Just borderline duck. I think I can add it some because I had my sunglasses on my head that I had to worry about it. But um, my stepmom didn't. She no. sailed right under it all. <laughs> it was great. But wonderful place. So if you're yep. out and about in Tewkesbury, just phone them up first. Um, book yourself a table. Tell them you're in a motel or a camper van. They have no problems at all. It's wonderful. Help yourself to a pint afterwards. Nice pint. Other, other ciders are available. Stoford Press for John and Australia for Mandy. And some of you asked questions about drinking and obviously staying on the highway. We are on private property in a pub car park and that's the only time we really drink unless yep. we're on a campsite. And the fact that the doors, the, the gates will be locked before yep. we finish these pints yep. and they won't be open again until the morning. No. So, yeah, it's good stuff. All right. Cheers, babe. Cheers, baby. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, you just can't beat a pub pint. In your motorhome. In your motorhome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a morning. What a view. Absolutely fantastic. Well, that looks like it might be a bonfire later this year. You can hear all the little crickets and everything. Really peaceful night's sleep. Amazing old tree, looks like it's come back to life. Or something else has taken over. And that's us in our little parking spot last night. Just about ready to leave the hobnail. So thanks very much for having us guys. We definitely will be back. Really tired, I don't know what it is. Mind you, we did have a good tour around Leminster, Leominster. Lemster. There we go. I'll get Lemster. it right one day. Yeah, we went to see uh, Kev Womble and uh, he's doing all right. Yes, he is. Um, we just um, thought we'd pop in because we were going from East Anglia over to Wales and it's kind of that way. And he showed us a nice round town little tour, didn't he? Yep. All the important places in Lemster, including the pub. And including the old town hall that was in the middle of Lemster and they moved it into yeah, the Yeah, that was really weird, wasn't they it? They lifted the thing up and moved it out of the way because the council wanted their offices a bit further out or, yeah. or something. But yeah, the big church and used to be a priory 
Yeah, and the big tree in there as well. Nice tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was quite tree. a nice little town, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very pretty. Kev was just like, oh, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing. It is full of antique shops yeah. and um, like secondhand stores and stuff like that. But Which, fortunately, amazing. they were closed. Otherwise, Mandy would have been there all day, maybe of week. <laughs> I mean, I know we're stuck for room and space and stuff, yeah. but I do love me a decent... A decent second hand stuff. Yeah. Love it. Oh, I tell you, you tried to do a, a food video. Just don't leave me parcels. I tell you, can't do anything in quiet over here. Anything. Anyway, so I found something on the internet about how to make a three minute pizza. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. Because I used to make tortilla pizzas all the time using a wrap. And that's a wrap. <laughs> um, so we have ches, barbecue sauce, uh, chorizo, ham and wraps. And we're going to put them in the frying pan and we're going to make a three minute pizza as per the instructions that might have been off Lad Bible. So we'll see how that one goes. Right, so first thing to do is light the hob. And then what we're going to do is put in some slices. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Covid. Constantly crashing my videos with your snezzing. So I get some ham in like that, and then we start cooking that through as the uh, as the bottom level. So I can see them starting to get a little bubbly and crispy. You see that from there. And now I'm going to. Sprinkle some cheese so that starts melting down. Then you get this and put some on there and then spread it. So cover it in barbecue. That goes inside, upside down. Give it a good press in like that. So then you get your chopping board. Plunk that over the top and twist. And then and fold it in half, and pop it back in again. And then once you've toasted them both, both sides, okay, um, I suppose it's a calzone, nearly not a pizza. So there you go. That is three minute pizza. And this is John's. Mm. Mm. It'll take me less than three minutes to eat it. I bet. You should smell it in here, it's amazing. I mean, I know this is kind of a cheat meal because you're just using already made stuff, but if you just need some food on the go, which is what we need at the minute, then um, then yeah, this is, uh, this is perfect. This is the second and the third one, thorough transparency. The first one, I recorded it with my phone and it was ridiculous because Lots of things went wrong and Cooper decided to have a drink and there's all the comedy factors of it and then we ate it without even recording that we'd eaten it. So that's how good we are at blogging and vlogging. So so yeah, so uh, this is attempt number three which seems to have gone smoother than the other two so just keep making them and they get better. Mmm. Well that's tasty. Yeah. Mm. It's good stuff, quick and easy. One pan, get it. Some of you have been asking, how's the van doing? The van is great, look at it, looks fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, no issues with it at all. Um, the little security camera review is coming at the end of the week, so the weekend, that'll be there. Um, but yeah, everything's fine with the van. Put some um, traction boards on the back there, so if you ever get stuck in sand or mud or anything, you've got something extra to go at. Um, but yeah, that leads me on to the wheels. Everyone's been asking about the wheels. And uh, one of the big questions that get asked about them um, is are you going to get one of those pens to make the white clearer again? Um, no, I'll probably just kind of try and scrub the tyre as much as I can uh, to keep it nice and clean or whatever. But yeah, these are amazing. Um, I know we did a video all about them, but I'll say again, putting 16 inch rims and tyres on your Fiat Ducato, Peugeot Boxer and Citroen Relay um, anything from 2012 onwards with like the, the newest shape 
um, is perfectly fine. In fact, you'll find your speedo works better. Um, it won't be any difference towards the gearing. You won't feel like it's sluggish or it's anything like that. Um, road noise on these is perfectly fine, actually. Uh, stability wise, they're absolutely perfect. In fact, I would say that they're more stable. Um, they're the same width, roughly, maybe a few mil wider. Um, but yeah, they're, they're absolutely brilliant. They grip like no one's business they're great in the wet and the dry uh, the mud and the sand they're great in that as well no issues whatsoever so if it is something you're thinking about putting the wheels and tires on your van to make it you know a bit more go anywhere as um as mel would say and um, what is it now a go anywhere do anything self-build camper van something like that um so yeah it's um it's something that's easy. I, I understand it's the expense of it, but if you've already got 16 inch rims, even steelies, then these will fit on. So you could do that and save you the cost of the rims. It's just that I didn't have any 16 inch rims. We only had 15 inch rims. So that's why we went for it. But yeah, I would say thoroughly kind of like go for it. If you are the type of person like we are to find, you know, those out of the way um, park ups or just like a bit of exploring and don't want to get stuck in your two wheeled three and a half ton van, then these are brilliant for it. Like I say, definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. Here is the John in his natural habitat. <laughs> Gotta keep your van clean, haven't you? Keep it clean. Keep it clean. It's not really normal for this channel. Does everybody else, if you've got one of these, a Fiat, Ducato, Peugeot Boxer, Citroen Relay, does your glove box not shut on the right hand side like that? Then you get your finger in it. Oh yeah, that was like that with the other one as well, wasn't it? Yeah, what's the deal? And don't say my feet on the dashboard. <laughs> oh yeah, a little tip for you as well. Once you clean your windscreen, get your wiper blade and pinch the blade with a cloth. Like that. And see you get a little black. That comes off and it makes the wiper blade clean your windscreen much better next time around. Just it's all the crud and the rubber and everything coming off. Another peaceful night at a little park up. This one's at a little sailing club near a lake. Pretty cool, really. But for now, we get to stay here. We get to appreciate a nice lake that we've walked around with Coop. We've got some nice ducks and everything. And obviously a place to, uh, to park up for the night. Um, which obviously brings me back to what we spoke about a couple of weeks ago about the UK Airs. Don't forget about that. I'll put a link in the video description down below to the Facebook group that's setting up for UK Airs. Uh, and I'm also working on um, the idea that I said last week about the location map for laundry services in the UK and Europe as well. So um, uh, Mandy says, why don't I make an app? Well, I thought there's no point making an app for it, but I could just collate all the information onto a Google map. So I'll probably be ended up doing that as well. So check in a couple of weeks time, um, I'll probably have a little map which shows all the places you can go and do laundry at, you know, outside laundry machines or um, decent laundromats, you know, like speed queens like you get in Europe and stuff like that. Oh, what have you bought now? A pillow. A cushion. A cushion. Cushion. What's this? B-roll. <laughs> You're so funny. Isn't it cute? Oh. It's cute. I am making my house. So we have Libby. Yeah. It's not called to be in French, so you know. Okay. And a map. Because um, you and geography. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, go to the map and point to... Oh, what can we do now? Let's put a light on so we can test Mandy's geography. Um, point to 
Sardinia. You can't look. Oh, well done. It's only because Megan Cal showed it on a map the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of home decor going on. Some light on so you can see. I oh, can yeah. see. I can see. And just bought these little plants. I'm sticking them on there. Thank <laughs> you. push hard face. They push hard face. Look, it's made my thumb go all funny. You, you what? The thumb? My thumb. It's not Chirita again. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy's got dodgy thumbs, but we know about that. <laughs> Look. There we go. Let's turn the light off now because it seems a bit overexposed. There we go. Oh, very nice. Looks pretty. As long as they stay there. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the driving, the... the uh, Your driving. My driving, yeah. Just getting out of this park, the we'll driving. be in for the test. Yeah. Couple in a, in a camper van next to us who aren't used to wild camping. Mm. So they were just asking loads of questions and... Is it safe and how we're used to it and stuff like that? Yeah. Although, just so that we don't upset them, theirs was a motorhome. Oh, sorry, yes, it was a motorhome. Yeah. It did used to have a van conversion. It did, yeah. It did. And then they got a motorhome. Yep. Just so we don't upset people, because I know people don't like the fact that we don't always call ours a motorhome. No, we call ours a van or a yeah. camper van or anything. Or a home. Our house. Yeah. In the middle of our street. Or wherever it is oh. that we park it. It's just ours. It is? Yeah, it's like it's mine if I lick it. Right. You ready for this, folks? So remember what we talked about before? Mm -hmm. I think we should do it now. You think we should do it now? Yeah, I think we should go walkies now with Cooper. We should go walkies with Cooper? Yep. Now? Yep, I think we should go walkies with Cooper. Go walkies with Cooper now? Yep, I think we should. Hey buddy, <laughs> what's the matter? You want to go walkies with Cooper? Yeah, we go walkies. Want to go walkies with Cooper? Oh. Yeah. Come on Come on then. Full again, isn't it? It's nice, but I don't know if anyone's going to be out here. Rose. It's nice to see the beds are so full again. Yeah. Okay, where's the water? Should we have a look? From here. Look. What is it? Oh. Can you see our house from here, Coop? <laughs> I think he remembers where he is. I think he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many walks. So a question we get quite a lot is um, referencing our trips around Europe and driving on the other side of the road. Uh, wrong side of the road seems wrong to say, um, but obviously uh, we do have to change from the UK driving on the left to the European driving on the right and a lot of people are really quite cautious about doing that for their first time out in their motorhome or just towing a vehicle or anything like that. So it was just a case of saying um, our friends, those weirdos, have put together a little video that hopefully should help. So if you check in the video description down below um, you'll find a link to their video and you can uh, see what their uh, take on it is. Just telling them yeah. About those weirdos new video. Yeah. About driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh yes, lots and lots of hints and tips. Yeah. You'll see us in it as well. Yes. Go over there now. Yeah, go and have a look. Go on. After Peace. you've watched our video obviously. I've got to see ducks and geese and swans and lots of baby ones, cygnets. Yeah. And some little ducklings of some little black things with white head, which I should get my app out and find out what that is. She was doing that around because where we parked up when we went to see um Gem and Ewan um is where we spent most of lockdowns well so it's like peak district and as you probably saw from the videos around the peak district time it was obviously lovely weather mm -hmm. and all the reservoirs were getting really low and then we obviously went around there yesterday and they're all absolutely brimming literally now literally brimming these, these um, so branches much, from trees yeah, were catching in the water but so much so the park up that we used is right next to the spillway from one of the reservoirs and it just sounded like someone was revving the engine all night all night all night and yeah and the thing actually woke up with a headache yeah and we weed a lot because yeah. you know that's the thing water isn't it? it's just oh there's water running there's water running yeah. but uh but yeah it was uh 
It was nice to get up there and see the thing full again. But yes, yeah. I found, what was it that I saw? It was a Eurasian oyster catchers. Which we saw in um, Southwold, Southwold as, as well. well. We saw yeah. one on a boat in Southwold and then we saw them um, at the reservoir. But they were lovely because they were skimming literally like that far off the water. Mm. And there must have been five or six of them all in formation. It was, um, it well, was lovely. Mandy is officially a twitch, isn't it? I am. I've got an app called Merlin and um it's free i was gonna buy the collins bird dictionary one oh yeah so i thought i'd try this one first and see if i actually get into it mm. and it's brilliant because you just say id a bird put the date and time in how big the bird is where the bird was what were the main colors this and time, its size folks. and um and it literally is tap 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 when you know what you what you're looking for and then it gives you a list and you can listen to the birds as well so you know if it's the right one it's amazing but it also updates their database which helps them with migratory patterns of birds and and any uncommon ones and stuff like that as well it's brilliant go get it anyway on another note <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one thing that we wanted to say this week as well is we met a lot of people on our little travels yes. and um, I don't know what's changed about things or anything like that. I guess we're out there more and I yeah. guess over lockdown people might have been watching more of yeah. YouTube stuff. But literally everywhere we go. Every day we've had someone come up to the van yeah. and say hi and it's been wonderful. I was parked outside the supermarket the other <coughs> day when Mandy popped in for something and two people uh, came to say hello. So hi, those hi. people. Yes. Um, there was a guy called Justin that came to say hello at a place near Felix. Felix though. Yeah, we, we had a good old up. chat with Justin. That was yeah. lovely. That. Um, uh, Paul came to see us yesterday because we went to Euro Car Parts to get some new wiper Pete. blades. Pete was it? Pete. Yeah, yep, sorry, it yeah. was Pete. And um, and he got a little bit of a look in the van from yeah. the door because he was saying that the <laughs> kitchen looked absolutely massive and he couldn't think it was if, if it was that big as it looked when I was cooking in it. And so then yeah. there was um, outside uh, the shopping centre the other week when we were parked up with Daz um, and a guy came in his T6 or T5. Jason. Jason, because he said he commented on the oh, right. on the videos and and that, and uh, we just heard this this voice of "Hey, Gadget Jordan, <laughs> Darren," and, and and yeah, it was uh, so, it was wonderful. Yeah, it's nice to see people, and don't ever think that you can't come up and say hello to us. No, we did have a message from somebody all. saying that they saw where we were parked up, um, but we were talking yeah, to somebody night. else, yeah. and it's just like if, if ever if even if the door shut or whatever, yeah. just have a knock on. We'll always say hi. It's yeah. lovely, lovely to speak to everybody. What's not been lovely is that the um, ill-fated forever a uh, bane in our um, oh, in our lives camp quirky, quirky ticket giveaway which was ridiculous when it started because of people again and uh, moaning because they didn't win or something yeah or for whatever that was we're never doing a giveaway ever no. again um um, but yeah that's still going on there's somebody who is still a little bitter and put out who is spreading well, trying to spread rumours about us that are false. Yeah. So, uh, Saying so, we ran yeah. a scam competition for something. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mate, but COVID shut down Quirky. Yeah, <laughs> anything nothing, else. absolutely nothing to do with and us. And a so. lot of people suffered from COVID, so I'd leave that subject well alone. Yeah. So, yeah, so but, there's just that, but that will... Um, there's yeah. always one, isn't there? And uh, is what it is. People, you can't, you can't do whatever. You no. can just, you can't reason sometimes. So, all right. I hope you've all had a very good week, and um, we hope that you've got some lovely plans for camping again this weekend. Those of you that are weekend warriors, get back out to the campsites again. Yes, go and, do um, that thing. And yeah, give your vans life again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll uh, see you next week. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Bye.